Buju Kinamagi and Nene Ireland and Dejnikas, and welcome to this Math Tier 2 Intervention. Today's episode, Math Tier 2 Interventions, Reteach 6.3. As we begin today's lesson, you will need your completed math reteach 6.1 from our previous session. You'll need your reteach 6.3 for today. If you need to go get those documents, you should pause the video, get them, and then unpause it. All right, let's begin by reviewing what we did in our previous session where we estimated the products of whole numbers and decimals. Long story short, we were turning the decimals into whole numbers by rounding. And you can see on the answers here, and these were the ones we did together, that we're just rounding to the nearest one in this row. So if we were looking at two, you look to the number to the right, it's an eight. Eight makes that go up. So it became three, and then you just multiplied by the number that was there. Remember the hint is, when you're estimating to a given place or rounding to a given place, look to the number to the right. If it is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, this number goes up. If it's zero, one, two, three, or four, it stays the same. So if this had been 2.42, you would have kept it at two and multiplied it by four. Seven and a quarter times six was, when we rounded that to seven times six is 42. This was rounded to three times two is six. 2 times 7 is 14. Now here, we were rounding to the nearest 10. But Mr. Ireland, it didn't tell us to switch. You're right. You want to use numbers that are easiest for you to use. Now, if you're really good at your 69s timetables, they wanted to go 69 times 4 is 276. More power to you. But 70 times 4 is an easier problem. We're here 9.85. Regardless, if you're rounding to the nearest 10 or the nearest one, it's going to come to 10. So that can give you a product of 80. 20.1, we rounded to 20 times 9, 180. 11 times 7 is 77. And this one is 80 times 40. 8 times 4 is 32. And then you add your two zeros. If you have further questions or if this doesn't make sense to you, please reach out to me. So let's look at today's material. Today we're going to multiply decimals by whole numbers. And you can see that at the top, it says find 6.92 times 8. And just to check our answers, we know that 6.92 rounds to 7. So our, our product should be about 56. Product, again, is the word for the answer to a multiplication problem. The numbers we're multiplying are known as factors. So we're going to start here by doing multiplication, 692 times 8, and they give you 5536. But we're not done. We then need to count the number of decimal points. And we do that, let's grab the annotation tool, by counting how many digits are after this decimal point. So there's one and two. So then we move the decimal point, which is assumed to be at the end, back one and two to get to 55.36 or 55 and 36 hundredths. If this had been a 0 0.8, we would count that as well and would have gone even further over to the left. Um, doesn't matter which factor, you can have decimals in both factors. It just tells you how to, how many to move the decimal point. Everything else is standard division or multiplication. So let's do this, let's do a couple together here, and then you'll end up being assigned a few as well. Grab the annotation tool, 0 0.85 times 4. You could choose to just put 0.85, but I wanted to make sure that you didn't accidentally forget it times four. So I'm originally going to use my standard algorithm for multiplication. Five times four is 20, put the two. Eight times four is 32, plus two is 34. 
so it looks like right now I have 340, but I need to count some decimal points. And there's one here and there's two. So now I'm going to move it over from here, two spots, one and two. And my answer is 3.40. It's up to you if you want to keep the 3.4 or 3.40, they'll have the same value in this one. Well, let's do another one together. I'm going to erase this here. Let's go back to my pink here. Let's do 3.12 times 5. And although they have it written like this, I recommend that you do the, use the factor that has multiple digits at the top, because you really don't want to have to move it. It's easier. Let's put it that way. Because if you went, five times 3.12 you'd have to go this row and then put zeros and it becomes really complicated unnecessarily such now if we begin by going 312 times five five times two is ten put a one up here five times one is five plus one is six five times three is fifteen so i have one thousand five hundred and sixty but i don't I need to have my two decimal points, one and two. So it goes over one spot and two spots, and we get 15.6. I'm going to ask you to do numbers three to six on your own and show me your skills. You can write it down on this document and then put it in the Google form with your answer. Hopefully this makes sense to you. If not, you should reach out to me at mireland at psychchipschool.net or visit me during office hours. Or even better, if at all possible, the best way to receive this material is to join us during our in-class sessions. This allows you to make meaning with your peers and with your teacher and ask questions in real time. Best way to get it. But for now, hope you all have a minogizhigad, minwa, bama pee.